Yes. Big Soda here. Uh, I'm here to do another production breakdown for for E equals MC squared off of my new record, uh, Songs for Rich People. Now, I'm going to do Smoke Weed every day. I'm going to break that down next. But uh, I I'm really excited about this one. This is probably my favorite sounding production on the record well i don't know about that it's all pretty bad but i don't know Th this song is really cool there's some cool stuff happening looking forward to showing you uh let's get right into it now the first thing you'll notice if you're really paying close attention this works different this, th the session looks different than my other sessions uh what happened with this song there's no there's, i mean for instance there's like no plugins in the drums there's no plugins on hardly anything. Everything is this big, long track. There's nothing's cut up. It's because for this song, I basically recorded and produced it. And, uh, and then I took it over to a different studio. And then I ran all of the different stems through really tasteful, tasty, delicious analog gear. So this mix is primarily analog. Like it went through really expensive like tube compressors and stuff like that, and it, it's par that's part of what contributes to like the big warm sound that this song kind of has. Um, you know, granted that it, how much of it was preserved in mastering, but that's that's kind of this one was done differently because it it had the added benefit of getting all of that tasty analog equipment on top of it, so you can't see a lot of edits that I did, but but I can still break down basically what's happening here. Um, so first of all, let's get right into it. It starts with this guitar. What that is, is it's a guitar with a tremolo that's that's happening at the same time of my finger picking. So I'm, I'm playing this little pattern with my thumb. Go, get, 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 go, get, get, get if you will, and uh, I've got a tremolo of it that makes that even more accentuated. Can you hear it kind of woo, 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 woo? That's, 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 an, that's a tremolo. And it's, it's doing the same thing to my finger. So that's kind of an interesting thing, right? I don't know. I think so. Um, most of the song is just it's just drum drums bass and guitar. Here's the here's the drums. Believe it or not, this is me playing. Uh it's just very, you know, time corrected and edited and within this larger drum part uh which is just consists of all these different weird mic placements. Um there's there, there's just a lot of looping and stuff happening. So so yeah, and then here's the bass line. The bass line's pretty simple. And what I'm doing is I'm I'm bouncing kind of back and forth between snare and kick. God. The reason the drums sound so good, if you think they sound good, because there were these great compressors that the kick and the snare got to experience. So there's, I mean, I don't know. I'm not to be a gearhead, but there's something to be said for really fresh, delicious uh, analog stuff. And then, you know, the, the secret here, too, with this cohesion is you got you to gotta make the drums and bass kind of think that, that they're the same animal. That's how you make a tight rhythm section, right? Hear how they're married? Yeah. Okay, so let's get right into the chorus now. That's basically it for the verse. I've got my vocals where I'd sing this stuff. I thought I knew my goal. This one's a lot more minimal vocal wise. There's only like the main vocals and then a, a few sparse harmonies. Uh, it's it's most of the production went into making the hook all big and delicious. Probably my favorite instrument on the whole record 
is going to be this auxiliary guitar right here. This bad boy is so f thick and fat and delicious, and it's got just the biggest, warmest sound, and it gives you a big old hug. And I'll play it. <laughs> through a big f wonderful tube pair of tube compressors i just love this this guitar tone he, listen to how it harmonizes with the other guitar oh god you hear that noise too oh yeah Yeah, that's 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 the one. So this this big fat heavy guitar is doing most of the work, but there's also this little support guitar that's got kind of a bandpass thing going on. And he helps us with the transitions. Just playing through the chord. A lot of little details. Um, so now underneath my big, heavy, thick, wonderful aux guitar, I've got some a, a little a little organ sound that's doing the same melody. Now check check out the guitar by itself. in the the little keys you hear how it adds some like extra brightness and the tine sound the tine sound of the key is like the little sparkly bit from when you press the note you know that kind of gives it like an extra like hairdo on top of yeah, I'll, play it again. I'll take it out I was talking about this earlier you gotta layer stuff you gotta layer the like same harmony and unison same harmony and octaves helps a lot um another guy that's helping uh to fill out the sparkly high end i've got this acoustic guitar that's flowing as you can hear i cut out a ton of low end you basically are just hearing like the scratches from the pick on the guitar and uh, I like to do that with acoustic guitar. It turns it just to do like a nice rhythmic element. It's, it's easy to control. Here and there doing the, uh, the upbeats. Um, another guy that's part of the that's part of the situation. Because my bass line is bass is doing a um, is doing just like a straight quarter note. I wanted to give him a little assistance and I layered some power chords on top. You'll hear that. You hear those little guys? It gives that quarter note pattern some crunch. Yeah, so real Green Day type beat. Um, and then I will also let you know that there is this little synthy guy. He's very hard to hear, but if you really focus, you can hear him. Okay, so let, let let's let's let, let's build that up again. Um, if you like my song "Bygone," this is kind of the same idea. It's like you ca you make a sparser verse section, and you just go all out in the hook. And I'm just filling in all these little random areas with with different instruments. And this is where the f real fun of production comes in. It, it's like layering. So. Here, I'll, I'll just start with the rhythm section. And I'll add in our big, fat, heavy guitar. So now it's a chorus, right? Now we've got... We're in this, like, watery, floaty land. And I'll add... 
add in these guys. These little support guitars came in way later. I just, there was like an empty space. Get out of here, updates. There was an empty space in the transitions, and I was like, I gotta put something there. So these, that's where these nasal kind of sounding guitars. Almost there, but it doesn't sound quite enormous yet. So here's the keys to support the melody. And I'll add the acoustic guitar, which is doing a lot of work to help the rhythm happen. Still doesn't quite sound complete, right? So here's the power chords to help chug the bass line along. Yeah, that's really hard to hear. That's really in the back there. And then finally, let's see if you can hear the synth come in. Take it out. It's very subtle. It's just one note that just drifts along in the background, but Sometimes these one notes make all the difference. Um, man, I really got excited about that. This this song, this song kind of does the thing that I like to do with music, which is just layer, you know, a nice a, a solid chord progression, and then you just layer all kinds of nonsense to build up all the extensions, and you're just floating along. And I'll add it in with my with with my melody so you can hear what's happening. Never. Loved anyone so relentlessly. And then there's these harmonies, obviously. No time, no space, no energy. Yeah. You can hear in there, there's definitely some like manipulated. Never loved anyone. You hear those little whistly guys? Those are like digitally manipulated clones of my voice. Just to give it that extra, um, that extra like fullness boost, so that it sticks out during Never the Never loved anyone yeah. so relentlessly. No time. Another little detail I'll point out here is there's this little guy. Never. Sounds bad on its own, but when you stick it in there with the rest, yeah. Yeah, you gotta go all out for the last chorus. That's like a rule. It's like rule number one. Okay, then before I wrap this up, I'm gonna show you this uh, this drum situation here. Oh yeah. Of any of the songs on the record, this is the thing that people complain the most about is this drum solo, this demented drum solo. I can explain. What this is, is um, I basically like sat down and played completely random notes, and then I used Beat Detective. And if you're not familiar with Pro Tools, Beat Detective allows you to take recorded instruments and force them onto the grid. You're taking you're taking notes that are played out of time and forcing them to be in time. And what results is like a, a kind of a bunch of like digital weirdness. It sounds kind of unnatural, but kind of natural at the same time. Now I'll play it again. For you. Yeah, the drums sound kind of like distorted and and messed up. It's because they're all time stretched. Because I I demanded them to be in time for the solo. And we've got our uh, we've got our guitar just keeping us keeping us in check this whole time. This guy's crucial. There he is. Why did I put that in there? Uh, great question. I kind of felt like the song needed a little break because you just got this big, intense chorus in your ears, and I wanted to strip it down for a second and kind of throw something in that would space apart the verse and give you a little bit of time to breathe before just going straight back into singing about my feelings. It's, it's like, you know, 
it's weird, but I feel like you need these kind of things to give the arrangement some complexity. If it was just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, it'd be a really one-dimensional song. But this guy's in there to kind of break it up and give you, uh, just give you some time for the tension to kind of set in. Something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, big, huge thumb in the camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Um, I'll do smoke weed every day next, but uh, I hope I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.